Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Why? Oh my God, stop fucking lying. Hey guys, Ice Cat here, and this is the second upload of today. And this is basically the ultimate investing guide for tomorrow when the game comes out. So make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe down below for a lot of FIFA 16 content. Tomorrow I will be bringing you some console footage which will be really nice and I've got a couple of series lined up. So the first thing about investing, people always go to consumables and you're thinking, people are like, oh yeah I want to buy some contracts. But if you look at contracts, you could pick them up for 200 coins but you're not going to make much profit. So you think you could pick a load up for 200 the most profit you're going to make is 100 coins per card, and that is nothing. So, in my opinion, I think stay away from contracts. Then people think fitness cards. So there are so many 200 coin fitness cards, you're never going to be able to pick, get a deal. And same with the squad fitnesses. They're going for about 1.3k, they may go up, but in my opinion, I'd stay away from them. So what you want to be looking at are the chemistry styles and the position change cards. So chemistry styles, if we go and look at Hunter... So everyone knows the Hunter card, plus free pays, plus free shooting. And usually on FIFA, the Hunter card goes for about like 4 5k. So on this FIFA, right now, it is going for 2.4k. So I reckon this will rise to at least 3k, if not higher. So I recommend picking up a couple of Hunter cards. You don't want to go all out in case it doesn't rise. But pick up a couple of Hunter cards, you could probably make about a K per card. Other chemistry styles, you have the likes of Catalyst. This is a lot cheaper than Hunter card. I reckon it will, so it's going for about a K950, 900 coins. See, so it's going for, yeah, 850, it's quite cheap. So I reckon this might rise to about 1.5K minimum buy now. You're not gonna make too much profit. These are just estimates. And then the final chemistry show I wanna look at is Shadow for the Defenders. And this one's actually going for quite a bit already. So we've got about 1.4, 1.5K. I reckon that'll go up to maybe about 2K. So you can make about a couple coins on that. But the other thing you want to be looking at are the player changes because on FIFA everyone is always changing their positions. I recommend looking at like CM to Cam. You see here it's like 400 coins. Pick up a couple. You're not going to make any loss. Like you could pick it up for, there we go, 250 coins. I'm going to buy that right now. Send it to club. When the game comes out, I guarantee it won't be going for 250 coins. Like there's some for 300 here, 200 coins. I'm just going to buy that right now. I could sell it. I'm just going to list it on right now for 300. There's live trading there. So like these, just the position change. I'll go CM to CAM. You want CM to CDM. This is always another good one. That's going for about 500 coins. To pick up a couple of them. And then there's right mid to right wing and right wing to right mid. Or the other way around. These usually go for about... Uh, the. I've seen them go up to 3k on FIFA before in previous years. So with these, I don't know, they're going for about 2.5. They've gone up quite a lot already. I'd probably stay away from them, go to the central position ones, and that's where you'll be making your money. The one final thing is healing cards. And everyone forgot about this last year, and this is where you made the money. So you want to go on like the, ooh, the gold special healing card, go find all items, and here you find the buy nows. So you see, the minimum buy now is about 500, 600 coins. And on FIFA last year, these went up to about 1.2k. And because everyone was just getting injuries, because they were playing like offline matches where you get your injuries, like literally all the time, because no one's bothered with fitness and stuff. So I recommend picking up some of these healing cards for the minimum buy now. If you want to get them for the cheapest, I recommend going to the 59th minute. It does take quite a while. But you can end up picking these up for about 600 coins and they're a good deal. And one more thing, you can invest in players. The only thing with players, you want to pick a player where his price is quite a long way before the max buy now. So for example here, if I take Hummels. Right now, Hummels is going for about, it's about 30. Oh, he's gone up some more. He was going for 30. Oh my god. Wait, well let me search. There we go, Hummels. Yeah, see, it's, it's glitching out. Hummels, he's going up like 10k a, in a day. He's going for about 39k, 35. Hummels' max buy now, I believe, 
is like 150k or something. You see here, 150, 190k. So I recommend, I reckon Hummels will go up to about 70, 80k when the game drops. So pick up a player. It doesn't have to be Hummels, but pick up a player where his current buy now is a long way before his max buy now. I recommend a good lead, good rating. You see Hummels, like everyone knows Hummels, 86 rated. He's going to be worth some coins. But the likes of Boateng and things. But Boateng, I believe, is already pretty expensive. You see, Boateng's already going for quite a lot. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope this method, well, these investing styles work out for you. I've just realised my face can have stopped recording. But I hope you guys enjoyed. What is that face there? Is that in the video? I'm going to get it out. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you on my next video.